Hey guys, I'm starting off with a large wall art that I picked up from the thrift store for $3. And then I spray painted the frames silver. And then I prepped the outer frames to spray paint the inside gold. Because the whiteboard that's around the gold looks kind of messy, I'm going to be painting it with a white paint. And using a little cut out of a trifle board at every angle just to make sure that I don't mistakenly paint into the gold inside. Like I said, this is what I did just to make sure that I don't have paint in the middle. And then I used the hard post board and then cut out a shape of three different sizes and cut out four pieces each. And then I also took a silver piece of mirror reflective paper and drew out the shape on each of every one of them and cut out the shapes for all of them and they're self-adhesive so they're super easy to use. I made sure that all of the cutouts were all covered with the mirror reflective paper. And then I went back to my board and cut out little pieces of tape and put them where I intend to place all the cutouts. And I made holes there and that's where I'm going to be passing through the string lights that I'm going to be using to give me lighting. And I will use three dots of each lighting that's on the string light for each and every one of the holes. And then sending the string back through that same hole. And then bringing it out again on another hole. And repeating the same thing all the way through until each and every one of the holes are covered with three dots of lighting. I glued the battery pack for the string lights at the bottom. And when I got this large frame, I was so excited because it already has hooks installed at the back to make it easy to mount it on the wall. This is a piece that I cut from a foam board and then I made extra three pieces, giving me four pieces in total. I'm gonna glue all of them together and I intend to place it somewhere around the middle here. And then I'm also gonna be using skewers to attach the cutouts that I made earlier to form the design. And I'm just measuring the skewers and the length that I would need for each of the places that I intend to put them. I did not really measure the distance between the skewers that's going to be on the board. It doesn't really matter because I want it to be randomly placed and also giving it different heights. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. When I was done inserting all of the skewers and making sure that they're upright, I glued them down using a hot glue gun. And for the outer corners that are kind of rough, I'm going to be covering them up with bling wrap. After that, I glued it to the middle of the board using a hot glue gun. I want lighting at the top, so I'm going to be using canvas panels to hold the lighting. These are smaller ones that I have, but they're not enough, so I'm going to go with the bigger ones. They come three in a pack and I got this from Walmart for I think $5. I split it into two and then I need three pieces so I made three pieces. They were still kind of large so I reduced them to the size that I wanted and then screwed them onto the top of the picture frame. I later added another piece at the top to hold all three pieces together. And now back to the bottom part. I placed all the pieces where I want them to be and started gluing them all down using a hot glue gun. I glued just the larger ones on the skewers and then the smaller ones are going to be glued on their own on top of toy blocks that I got from a pack of toy blocks that I got from the Dollar Tree. This is what they all look like and now I'm going to be gluing three square mirror candle holders on the board. The remaining space that the mirrors cannot cover, I will be covering it up with mirror reflective papers. This is a Christmas ornament ball and all I'm doing here is separating the pieces so that I can use them to add to the design. After I did that, I also glued on the push lights at the top and these push lights use a remote and the link is going to be in the description box below. I also used two inches mirrors and handles that I got from these cups that I got from the Dollar Tree. Removing the handles is super easy. 
and I used the handles to actually decorate the corners of the frame after I had already glued on the two inches mirrors. After gluing on all of the handles, at the pointed tip right there, I decided to just add a gem. This is what it looks like when it's mounted on the wall. This is a decor that can be above the bed because it's really large, or it can just be on its own on a bare wall. All of the lights that I use here look so pretty at night. Now, if you want a different design around the frame, you can just pick up a table runner and cut the width that you need and decorate the spaces with it. I have used this table runner to decorate a wall mirror before and the link is going to be at the top right and also in the description box below. A short clip of that particular mirror is going to be at the top left. It is so interesting to know that a thrift store find can look this pretty. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.